following message is transmitted at the request of the New Jersey State Police Department. Authorities recommend that the following action should be taken by... Did not, <laughs> did not want to start that too early. I want to start it on time. And I'm going to tell you, the Friday Night War Note just goes so much easier when I am prepared, when everything is set up the way it's supposed to be, when you execute on time. Hello everybody, it's me, T-Bone, the co-host of the Lunds B Show with T-Bone and Chick Brew. It's time for your Friday Night War Note. The warning order conducted every Friday. Oh, I don't want to give that away. The warning order conducted every Friday night uh, in military parlance is a bad thing, okay? But it's not a bad thing when you're here with your friend T-Bone. It's a good thing. It, link, it, it runs the length of one beer. We talk about what's going on this weekend, and uh, that's it. That's what the Warno is. It's no biggie. It's one beer with me, your friend, T-Bone. Uh, asking the audience what would be the beer tonight, I got a couple of responses. Tegan suggesting the, uh, uh, the Grape Nuts. Good beer, by the way. A stout homemade by Dave. Uh, let's see. I had another suggestion. Who did I have there? Who else made a suggestion? Oh, Barbie. Barbie came in with the Killians. That was a good suggestion. And I ran out of suggestions until Eagle, until Giggles jumps in at the last minute with tonight's beer. The use. Zh, the use. It is, of course, the nasty blue. Nasta de Zuru Peroni. The beer that won medals in the 1800s, but hasn't since. Still love it. I don't care if you hate it. I don't care. Hello, beautiful. I'm glad to see you're watching. I heard you were listening upstairs. We are currently in the process of watching the first season of Fallout, and now I'm afraid to get rid of my bottle caps, because the end is near, and I could probably use these. Who knows? <laughs> What are we going to talk about tonight? We're going to talk about the same thing we talk about every week night. Mm. Every Friday night. Friday nights, I let you know what's going on. I give you a little rundown of things. Here's here's what you're you are not you are not expecting this. I promise you, the next thing I'm about to talk about, you had no idea this was coming. I didn't know I was going to do this. What I want from you. What I need from you are uh, dick pics. Someone recently had to give me their phone number, uh, begrudgingly gave me their phone number. They didn't want to give me their phone number, but they did because they needed something from me and it needed to be sent by phone. And after I sent it, he was like, okay, thank you, but please, no random dick pics. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I went through my brain to remember every famous dick I ever knew in my life. You got your uh, Dick Sargent, you got your uh, Dick York, you got your uh, Dick Van Dyke, your Dick Van Winkle, your Tricky Dick, uh, Dick Buckus. I went through a litany of dicks. If you know any famous dicks, you can send me their pick, and I keep those now. Walter Lee, getting ready to retire. I see you, brother. Hey, go ahead and have a sip to you right now. So, uh, eh. regardless of who's watching at this current moment in time, and you would understand why this is funny, uh, yeah, send me your dick pics. But remember, uh, the dick pics I'm looking for are famous dicks. I don't want to, your everyday, some dude you know named Richard. I don't want that guy. I want the famous ones. Uh, and, and if you got any ones you can think of, the, uh, the Smothers Brothers. The Smothers Brothers were dicks, right? Dick Smothers? Seems... Seems a little excessive. Dick Trickle. Dick Trickle. Who's got a picture of Dick Trickle? That would be a good one to have. <laughs> Bottle caps are currency, yes. So that was my week. I was uh, randomly sending dick pics to my coworkers. And if you can uh, think of any other famous dicks that I haven't named, or if you have any good pictures of famous dicks, send them to me. And, and, and as, as something you could do for fun, just randomly send those to friends and neighbors. No explanation. Just uh, here's a picture. There's my, there's my sweetie, Miss Rachel Helgerson. 
which means her, her hubby isn't far behind. I'd send him some dick pics. And I'm not going to further explain that. They'll have to go back and watch the beginning to know what that comment was all about. <laughs> but it, uh, it made for a fun week. And I, I recommend you do it because it's just an entertaining time. In the central Pennsylvania area, let me tell you about some comedy that's going on tonight. This Father's Day weekend, Big Chuck the Landlord's got a show going on down there in Gettysburg. Gettysburg's just a few miles away. You ever want to come visit Gettysburg and you need a place to hang out and drink beer with your good friend T-Bone? Call in advance. We take reservations. <laughs> Derek, hello, Mr. Holden. Uh, I know you don't listen to the show, but you missed your birthday boost or your birthday mention. I know it was your birthday. Happy birthday, brother. So, yeah. Gettysburg's right down the street. Big Chuck, the landlord, he is uh, having a comedy show tonight at the Lincoln Social Food Market. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. Tickets are $25 at the door or $20 in advance. If anybody's interested in going, just PM me and I'll send you the details to how to get the $5 discount because it's too much to remember. I don't want to remember all of that. Uh, $20, $25 at the door, $20 in advance. Let me tell you who's on the lineup, okay? They got Tony Spohn listed in big letters, so I'm imagining he's headlining. But of the people I know, Damian Robbins is going to be there. Uh, Casey, Nichols, Casey Nicholson, she's going to be there. Uh, Sarah Cartwright, she's going to be there. Corey Rush, he's going to be there. So you got five comics in Gettysburg tonight at the Lincoln Social Food Market. Doing comedy. Show starts at 8. And then it's immediately followed by a 90s style after party. I got too much work to do to be out there partying with you youngins. But I will let you know that it's going on out there. So if you, you got something to do, on a, you're looking for something to do on a Friday night, go on out there and enjoy yourself. All right. Dick Clark. Dick Clark was a great one. Didn't think of that. There's another dick pic for you. <laughs> oh, it tickle me sometimes. All right, that's what's going on with that. What's going on with Zeus? He's, he's all happy. We were expecting some thunderstorms, so he's had a bunch of marijuana supplements to calm him down. And uh, he'll be part of the show tonight. If he would just climb up here and sit at the bar, wouldn't that be fun and entertaining for all of us? Anyway, so I told you about the show going on tonight at Gettysburg. There's five comics. Again, doors open at 7. The uh, show starts at 8. For me, I have to go into the studio. I have to finish last week's show. I have to finish last week's show. I got to get that out, get that done. I'll release that today. So the next version of the Lunds B show that you've been waiting on will be out today. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sunday, all right, so this, the normal routine, six o'clock on Fridays, we do the warning order. 10.30 on Sunday mornings, I do the supplemental. Supplemental is a fun time if you haven't checked it out yet. We do history. We do a history and a trivia style contest, which is fun because I'm now using AI to write the questions and I can play along. Last week I played by myself, but it's okay. I'm used to playing by myself. Dancing with myself. So we had that. The supplemental, this week in history, uh, community service note or anything that I might be promoting. Oh, speaking of what I'm promoting, durr. On the 22nd of June, we are doing a uh, Fresh Faces uh, Spotlight. No, not a Spotlight. A Showcase. A Fresh Faces Showcase at the Comedy Zone here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Now, uh, tickets for that event are $10 at the door or $12.50 in advance through Eventbrite. But here's a special thing. Here's a special thing that you need to know about this particular show. You got a bunch of young comics on there. Funny guys, I can attest that they are funny people. They're going to come out, they're going to give you their best. It's a cheap show, it's $10. The great thing about the Harrisburg Comedy Zone is the drinks on the inside cost the same as the drinks on the outside. They don't upcharge you because you're inside a venue. The food is the same on the outside, it's the same on the inside. It's a good place, it's a good room. I enjoy this room. If you walk up to the counter and you say, like this, look at me closely, pay attention, okay? Wait, yeah. <laughs> Just checking. If you say, you got to remember, you got to check your six, both sides, got to be careful. 
You don't say this loudly, okay? You don't say it so loud the person behind you can hear. It's just you and the person having a quiet conversation. You say, T-Bone sent me. That's all you got to do. The person on the other side of the counter is going to go, I got something for you. They're going to reach down and they're going to pull out an envelope. They're going to give you the envelope. That envelope is your admission into the event paid for by the Lunsby Show. That's it. You, you walk right in. You're happy. You got your wife with you? No problem. But she's got to say the words. You can't, and can I get one for my wife? No, no, you can't get one for your wife. Your wife can ask. That's all you got to do. Look both ways. Check, quietly say, T-Bone sent me. They will give you free entrance for the first five people to pull this off. Now, I have given them permission to not give you a ticket if you come in stupid. You come in, hey, T-Bone sent me. <laughs> I can't help you. Tell T-Bone I said hi. That's it. That's all you're going to get. I've given them the, the, the right to not give any free tickets that I might not have. So it is to the first five people to show up, but you got to be right about it. You got to ask the right way, quietly, discreetly, making sure nobody's listening. You tell them that they're going to give you an envelope inside that envelope is going to be your tickets. I bought the tickets today. This is a go. This is happening. Okay. That's the uh, Harrisburg Comedy Zone here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. If you don't live in Harrisburg, get on a plane and fly here. It's a free ticket. If you get on a plane and fly here, I don't care if you can say the phrase or not. I'll get you in. That's not a problem. So that's the 22nd. You got uh, eight, nine, ten comics. It's going to be a good time. Mark it on your calendar. Get out of the house. Do something different. 22nd June. Again, doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. Say the phrase that pays. Get in for free. Sunday Supplemental. I talked about that. Uh, there's no race this weekend. So, uh... <laughs> yes, I like the way you did that. Uh, t won't set me. There is no race this weekend, so that's good. I was supposed to go to the range with the chief police this weekend. It doesn't look like that's happening. So I'll just be a, a kept man doing things around the house that my wife tells me to do. Because that's, that's the life I'm living. And then then uh, Sunday, we tape a fresh version of the Lunds B Show with uh, T-Bone and Chikra. Of course, we'd love it when you listen. Thanks for being a listener. And uh, and then and then Sunday we're gonna try to pull off this like uh, family Zoom stuff. Like uh, we're trying to be better at being loving and stuff. So we're gonna get on the camera and be nice to each other for a little bit. At least that's the plan. I. Uh, if you want to run the camera for me, you can run the camera for me. I can't do all things. I can't check comments, drink beer, and run the camera. Can't do it all. But I have done it all. That is pretty much the, the Warno. That's the Warno. That's a Friday Night Warno. And uh, we doing on time. We're doing great on time. But we're done. As always, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the show. Thanks for supporting live comedy. Um, I remind you today as I remind you every day. Just be the best person that you can be. And if you were a great person today, be an even better person tomorrow. Chick Bruce sends her love. Now cheers with me. In Spanish, arriba, e bajo, e centro, e pa dentro. Buena fin de semana. Have a great weekend, everybody. Be safe.